July 29th, uh, 2019, 5.49 p.m. This is episode 564. Yes, I am correct. <clears throat> yeah. I knew I was going to do this cartoon, but I, but I had some concerns with it because I thought, I can draw this cartoon in five minutes and be done. And a lot of cartoonists would say, yay! But I thought it needed more than that. Sometimes less is more. I, I believe in that. But I still thought, you know, that's not really me all the time. All the time, maybe sometimes. Um, I just thought it needed more than just drawing a pig. And there's this concern for me with drawing a pig that are drawing humans as animals, that they come off cute. And there's one thing that I really don't like doing with political cartoons, and other cartoonists love doing it. And there's nothing wrong with it, I just don't like doing it. And that is drawing human, or drawing things and animals as humans. It's not an ethical reason, something like that. I just don't like it artistically. I just don't, I don't know. It's just, I, I don't like the, the analogies you make with it. I, I, I just have never loved it. Um, it doesn't mean that I won't do it sometimes, like I did here. So, my challenge to myself, was to make sure this pig was not cute. <laughs> and I had a pretty good start before I even started drawing it because, hey, I'm making Donald Trump the pig, so. Uh, but then it would be even worse if I made it cute. So let's make this guy kind of disgusting. And then while drawing it, I got the idea that, you know, the background should be brown. And you know what? I don't know if I have ever used brown background. So I don't know. I doesn't know. I don't know. Anyway, we don't have much time. I guess I should do some shout out. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I just kind of went crazy with all the cross hatching, and then uh, I even started doing them all over the face and everything. I wasn't too worried about obstructing. You know, this might be the first time I did a bunch of tw Twitter birds without looking at the Twitter bird logo. Maybe. But you know, I liked everything about this cartoon versus the last cartoon I did, which I hated everything about. And also, I thought about my friend Stacy Curtis. He's got this thing about drawing pigs with banjos. Not pigs and banjos, but pigs with banjos. I don't know why. I think there's a reason to it, but I've never looked into it or have asked him. A few years ago, Stacy had a health scare, so a bunch of cartoonists got together and everyone drew pigs and banjos, and I drew a real crappy one for him. I don't ever want to see it again. Um, but he is super appreciative, and he's been a real good friend over the past few years. Actually, throughout my entire career, he's been a good friend. But over the past few years, he's been like a super duper supportive dude about my work. He predicted that I would win the Pulitzer, which I thought, okay, Stacy's also kind of crazy. But anyway, I did not want to look at one of Stacy's pigs before I drew this pig because my pig would have come out looking like one of Stacy's. So, <laughs> Stacy draws them really, really well. They're fun to look at. All right, shout outs now. Uh, Amanda said, I know you like Kamala, but didn't she do something that hurt transgender people in prison? I think she did. Uh, what she did was she, uh, her office as uh, state attorney general in California uh, attempted to deny transgender surgeries. I am not going to find a perfect candidate. I'm not going to find a candidate that I agree with on everything 100%. And I'm not too sure how I feel about that one either. Um, so, I, I don't know. Uh, I think if there's a health crisis with someone in prison, you take care of it. I think if there's something that uh, I want to do this now, uh, I, I think you don't. But I don't know all the details of that or how that affects the prisoners uh, as, as it being a health crisis. So, I guess that's something I should have a stronger opinion or have a, an opinion about, but I really don't. So, I don't want to be like a Republican just bark wah, 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 and, and defend her you know, blindly or when you don't know what you're talking about. That's what a lot of people do. And plus, I might change my pick. I might help, I might change my pick <laughs> Wednesday night <laughs> at the performance. Um, Arrow said, nice pun saying don't like this cartoon because it's not punchy, but I like it. It's simple and it'll be topical for at least two days. And this news cycle two days is impressive. You are correct about that. It has a very short shelf life. So I'm kind of glad that it's only for CNN and it's not going out to anyone else. It shouldn't be popping up anywhere except for people stealing it on social media. And then Etz came back. Hey, Etz, good to see you. And wrote that. That was the laundry in the background. Washer, dryer. Told you it's going on 24 7. Some idiots are washing their clothes, their towels right now. Wait, that's me. Um, Etz, 
It's a long hot summer already. August will be for the Duggos. Doggos? Doggos? There's your cartoon, folks. I really like the way it came out. I did. Uh -huh. I made him look nasty and kind of dirty. Did, did I succeed in making the pig nasty and dirty? Let me know what you think. Let me know what the duck. And I'll see all of you on Tuesday. I got like three ideas I could draw right now, but I'm too far ahead, so I'm just going to draw one tonight. Oh, so much stuff in the news. Uh, click the red button, be a subscriber, and if you leave me a comment, I will say your name. Goodbye.